Hey guys! Um, so I know it's been like about a week, I think, since I've actually uploaded my last video. Obviously I've sort of been taking a bit of a break lately just to sort out some other stuff. Mostly like going through my existing makeup to try and organise it a little bit more. So that's what I've been doing for the past week, trying to make it a little bit easier. So, yeah. Um, and the video I'm actually going to do today is actually a monthly favourites video for the month of... I don't even know what month it is. July. So, obviously it's not the end of July yet, but it's basically the end, so I thought I'd just get it out of the way, get it done. And there's not actually that much stuff today, like, compared to my last monthly favourites, which I think there was quite a bit of stuff. I think there's only like 10 items. Or like 8 items, or something like that. So it's not actually that bad, so hopefully it won't be too long of a video, but... Yeah, so I'm just going to crack right on with it. One of the first... Oh, obviously if you watched my previous videos, I did a Makeup Revolution haul, where I ordered some stuff from their website. And I'm definitely going to be doing that again as well, I can't wait. But um, one of the items I actually got was in their, uh, what's it called, last chance to buy section. Which is, I'm guessing, just their sale section. But I don't know if it's like going out of stock or they're not going to sell it anymore. Because it was in last chance to buy and I did pick it up for like £3 something. And it is the Makeup Revolutions I Heart Makeup I Heart Sin palette. And um, I love this palette so much, I've blocked that to shut, stop the light. But... It's just so metallic, as you can probably see, like, you can see in the gold one there, like, how shimmery it is. Obviously, the rest of them, there's got some matte, um, and some metallics, all mix mixed in. And I love this palette so much, it really is amazing. A lot of people, um, have asked me on my Instagram, also, um, what I thought of the Makeup Revolution. And I know I haven't done a review yet, but I will, I, it's coming up, but just a quick little... I love the eyeshadows, no ifs, no buts, I think the eyeshadows are amazing. Their lipsticks, I'm not too keen on. Like, they're so... For, I only got the panned ones, in fairness, so obviously I know they've got a few different ranges. But I just started off with just loads of the different cheap ones, just because they had some cool colours. So I thought I'd give them a go for a pound, you know, I'm not overly bothered. But they weren't really the best, obviously, for the price you don't expect it to be. But they were just quite, I don't know, sheer. Very, very sheer. And they took so much work. And it you put about a few layers on, and then it starts to just wipe off again. So... It's sort of like you can't really get it to be a really pigmented, like, holo like um, deep lipstick colour. No matter what colour you use, like, even the deep red ones, they just go on sort of like a pinky colour. Because they just don't cover the skin very well. But some people, like me personally, with some of the colours I've got, I actually think that's quite a nice thing to have. Like, to be able to have a mixture of really sheer colour. Or if you do work it a little bit and you put some effort into it you can get a deeper colour. Or if you, even if you put it on top of something, I've noticed that as well. I used a few of the lipsticks on top of a different lipstick and the colour shift was so much better. So if you try that, I'm guessing that will work. So that was a pretty cool little thing. But I will do another video just separately about all the Makeup Revolution stuff to make it easier and go into more detail there. Um, the second product um, was in my last haul and I got it from Superdrug and it is the Deep Action... Oh, it's not going to focus very well. I do apologise. Deep Action Blackhead Clearing Daily Scrub. And I'm really weird with what like scrubs I use in the morning like on my face because I don't like anything that's gel or cream form. I always like stuff that has exfoliation beads in it. And this one's probably one of the best ones I've found so far because the beads, you can feel that. Even when you rub it in your hands and you rub it together, you can feel like the little beads in there, which I think is quite cool. Um, next is all the rest of the stuff, uh, except this is makeup, except this one I am, which is Lush. And I... Uh, I've mentioned this bath form before and I'm obsessed with this bath form. I don't even know why. Like, I love it. And it's the um, Space Girl one. It's like a little space item thingy. Uh, planet? Yeah, that's it. Planet. <laughs> and, oh, I don't know. It just, it just is amazing. I love it. But, um, I just said in a previous video, I don't know any other details because I haven't even looked at it myself yet. But apparently they're discontinuing a lot of the um, bath bombs they have at the moment and replacing them with their new line. So, stock off on them when you can. I'm hoping to get into Lush when they have a sale, because the woman behind the counter did say, closer towards the time, they will start to produce a lot of their stock. So I'm hoping that they'll do that, because I'm pretty keen on getting a, um, some more of these, if they have them, but no guarantee. Um, next product is a foundation, and it is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. And it is in light beige, and it's SPF 19, I'm obsessed with this. I am, um, in the previous, my foundation video, I went on about this one. This is just one that I had for the collection. I was like, I've never tried it, blah, blah, blah. It looks good. 
ever since that video, I thought I'd give it a go because I got fed up with just looking at it and never using it. And some other people said it was good, so I thought I'm just gonna try it. And it really probably is one of the best foundations I own. Like not just for the coverage, but the colour is so true to what it says it is. Like you can see, it's so ashy and it's not yellow at all. Because I hate that's why one of my pet hates of Rimmel products. A lot of their foundations are quite ashy, uh, quite um orange. Sorry, and being as pale as I am, that can be a really big issue, so I was happy with that one because it wasn't like that. Um, the next product is Baby Lips, and it is Peach Kiss, and it's literally, it has a tiniest hint of colour, not overly noticeable, which is what I like about it, but it makes my lips less pink, because again, I've said in a previous video, my lips are really naturally pinky colour, like today they have powder on them, but, oh, it's just a really baby pinky colour, it's really weird, and it's really annoying. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, that's, as you can see, it's sort of very neutral. It looks quite metallic, but it's not. It's quite, just basically like a rattling stick, which is what I like about it. It's not overly glittered or coloured. And I actually gave this to one of my friends. I was like, oh, smell this. It smells so nice. And she was like, oh, it smells like mango chutney. I was like, okay then. <laughs> it's not mango chutney. <laughs> but I will get into that in a different video. Um, next is two things I got from Wilkinson's. One of them is their spun thing. I don't have the packaging for this, so I don't know anything about it. I think it was like one ninety nine, and that's all I really know. Like it's one of the ones that you can use dry. It doesn't say anything about using wet on the packaging, so I'm guessing you just use it dry. But um, I love the shape of it. It's really handy. I haven't actually used my Real Techniques one yet. I haven't even taken it out of the package because I've been using this one so much. So pretty happy with that. I might grab some more of them next time I go there. So that's one of them, and the other thing is the Essence All About Matte Concealer in light beige again. Um, this also is like the foundation, I use this a lot together because they go really nice together. It's not any warm undertones, it's all cool undertones, which, which is really nice to get in a concealer, because a lot of concealers, again, you can see like the tints where you put them underneath your skin. From what, um... From like the orange tints from underneath your skin, if that makes sense. So like you can you can just see the shadows from where you put concealer because it shows through the foundation because it's so dark and that was one thing I always used to struggle with whenever I used to use my um Mac foundation, which I haven't used for ages now because I just sort of went off it because it made me break out a little bit. Like as you can see, like down there, like it just I don't know. A lot of people said that the first use it made them break out, but their skin just got used to it. So I might just try and use it again and see what happens, but. Yeah, but whenever I used um, Maybelline Cover Stick, I believe it was, with MAC foundation, not even just on my skin, with um, someone else's skin as well, you could see, no matter how much blending or no matter how much foundation you put on, you could always see the different tones from where the concealer was, which obviously can be a bit irritating, especially if you're doing like photographs, because it does show up so much worse on, on the camera than it does to the actual eye, so that is a little bit annoying. But... That is actually it for my favourites, which I'm actually shocked by myself, I'm not going to lie. I normally have loads, but hey ho. So, obviously, this is the month of July. I will be doing some more videos soon, actually, like, probably, I'll be doing them all today. I'm not sure when they're going to be uploaded, so, um, probably by Sunday, there'll be two free videos up, I'm guessing. But again, don't know how long it's going to take to upload, so, but yeah. So that's my monthly favourites. Next, my next video is my, I have a plan of doing a skincare one, like what products I like for skincare, um, and a hair one, but I'm not sure about the hair products yet. I'm still trying to decide which ones I want to add and which ones I used to be obsessed with, but I'm sort of, don't use that much anymore. So I might just not even mention them. I might just mention them and say, I like this, however, I prefer this one more. Um, I'm probably going to do that, like sort of bring up some of the stuff I used to like and then sort of compare it to stuff that I like more now. And do it that way. So that's that. And also, I am actually going shopping again um, on the weekend. So, some point next week, there'll probably be another big haul up, um, a super junk haul. I guess it's probably going to be quite big. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, that's that. Thanks for watching. And again, there will be enough videos up soon. So, make sure you, you know, subscribe, stay in contact, blah, 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 keep up to date whatever you want to do, um, obviously if you follow my Instagram, it'll be written up there first, as soon as the video is, like, even thought of in my head, it'll be on my Instagram, and I'll be telling you about it, so, 
yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'll put the link in for my Instagram below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.